Hi guys, taking a quick break from working on my custom ROM database, I wanted to take the time and show you a really nice and handy app called Ultimate Dynamic Navbar. It is mostly meant for all the people who prefer the full screen Android experience without having a permanently visible navigation bar. Using Ultimate Dynamic Navbar you get exactly that but also way more than just simple navigation bar replacement. UDN is a highly customizable navigation bar that hides itself when not needed. It can quickly be accessed either by tapping on one of three available trigger positions or just by a simple swipe upwards from the bottom of the screen. After triggering UDN the navbar itself will appear and you can just trigger the action of your choice. But since I already mentioned it is highly customizable, let's check the settings to see what exactly is available. In the main menu you will find the general settings, the navbar spoofer, configure buttons, themes and behavior and the additional infos. Let's start with the general settings. At first you see the general options like start on boot and display notification. Then you can choose the type of trigger with the options of hold bottom edge, the trigger on the left, right or at the center. The next one is the method to activate the panel giving you the choice for touch and swipe. After that you will see the special modes that would be the toggle mode, hide on any button pressed and hide on inside touch. Down below there is the swipe to action part with options like swipe to action, long press and hide panel after action. But you can also adjust the duration of the swipe mode animations and the smoothness of swipe mode. This means you can either make the navbar appear and tap the button to trigger the action or just swipe up hover over the button you would otherwise have to click and simply release your finger to trigger the action. I was looking for such an option for a long time on other apps but as far as I know UDN is the first and maybe even only one that got it working just the way I always wanted to. There are also options for vibrations, the trigger height and transparency and others like gesture pad height, swipe length and two options for the panel and trigger position. That's it for the general settings. Going back to the main menu you will also find the menu with two different methods to hide your native navbar if the ROM you are using doesn't have such an option out of the box which would still be the preferred method though. The next section would be the configure button settings. You get a chance to set up normal and long click actions for up to 7 buttons plus the additional edge button on the left and the right. The normal click actions for those two edge buttons are limited to none, menu and search. But all the other buttons give you much more options like the standard NAFA buttons but also actions like Google Now, volume up and down, sleep, kill app, power menu and screenshots. And if that wasn't already enough you also get the option to use any custom app you want to get quick access to your most frequently used apps like for example the browser Google Plus or any other for that matter. After setting up all your buttons it's time to visit the themes and behavior settings. Here you have the choice of a huge variety of themes for the icons, right now 18 in total. There are enough to satisfy about almost anybody. Just check them out and take the one of your choice. But you can also change the style of glow effect. 14 different ones are available like web, wheel, spikes and many more. If you still want to customize the visuals even further you can choose between 4 different animation glow effects like none, stock, rotate and fade. If you want different colors there's also options for that. You can change the color of the navbar, the icons and even the glow color. Of course there's also an option for the height of the panel itself. The last two options are for the duration of the show height animations and the duration of the showing state. You can see the total amount of available options is extremely huge. Everyone should really have enough options to customize the look and functionality of the navbar exactly like he wants it to be. But UDN isn't just filled with tons of options, all of those actually work completely reliable and the whole experience is fast and fluid. Stability isn't really an issue anymore, since the developer ironed out practically all the bugs and flaws with the fantastic support of the XDA community that helped to make UDN the great and versatile navbar replacement it is today. Updates have gotten less frequent lately but only because the app is super polished right now and doesn't need those frequent updates anymore. At some point he even got bad reviews for too many updates, sound ridiculous but it's true. If you are looking for a navigation bar replacement that gives you a quick and nice full spin experience without permanent visible buttons this is definitely the one to go for. Sure there are other solutions like Pi for example but I personally think UDN is superior because of the higher customizability but also the higher amount of available actions which makes it so much more useful and versatile in daily life. Even as a diehard Pi fan you should at least give UDN a fair chance to convince you there are other maybe even better navigation methods out there. So that's it for my ultimate dynamic navbar review. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, reshare this video, subscribe my channel and let me know what you think about the app. Bye.